The spate of school assaults attacks in the country has created a worrying and an alarming trend in the country, with the NAT Secretary General Wilson Socion claiming that the delocalization of teachers is to blame for the rampant school assault attacks. Clear indications that uh, the delocalization policy has served to destabilize schools and has fueled tension. This TSC and the ministry must accept. According to Socion, the top-down approach of instituting policies in schools adopted by the Ministry of Education and the Teacher Service Commission is to blame. The nominated member of parliament claims that education stakeholders were not consulted on the issue of the localization of teachers. Policies have said that have not been negotiated should be stopped so that we can go back and negotiate <laughs> policies that work and policies that are good for schools, particularly the localization. This one must be dropped. This one has to be dropped. So that An audit done by NAT Secretary General shows that 28 cases of arson attacks in the country have been caused by the localization of teachers. The schools include Kunyu Girls in Moranga County, Kamagut Secondary in Wasengishu County, Kisumu Girls in Kisumu County, and Meru High School in Meru County. Senate Education Committee, led by Bomet Senator Christopher Langat, however, supports the delocalization of teachers, but wants government to prepare the teachers and the students in advance to avoid tension caused by the delocalization. It, that, it is a, that it is a government policy. It's not a witch hunt on some schools, and it is very important. So I want to say that uh, we are now uh, asking the Teacher Service Commission to stop the localization as of now, because this is start time and the students are being prepared for exam, so that um, it may reduce uh, this particular problem that is going on in our school. The burden of laws attributed by the arson attacks in schools was to be pushed to parents, but now the leaders claim it is too unfair and too big a burden for parents to bear. Education and the Teacher Service Commission should pull a fast one and stop rhetoric of who will finally shoulder the responsibility of reconstructing the schools and instead work closely with the central players in the education sector. That it is not fair for the government to put it squarely on the parents that they should take care of the schools which have been burnt. That to me, I think is wrong. Much as we don't support our students, we don't support our children, what they are doing is very wrong. The leaders now want rampant school arson attacks to be declared a national disaster and a task force to be made to audit the matter. It's, it's anybody's business. Of course, education is everybody's business. It takes a whole nation to bring up an educated group. So we now must look at those values. So what am I trying to say? It may be now, it, it may be time for this nation to take stock of this plethora of events that are taking place. At least eight students have been arrested in connection with the fire that guarded a dorm at Kisi High School. The eight suspects were captured by CCTV cameras leaving the dorm moments before it started burning. The new wave of fires in school has caused an alarm with question remaining what is the real cause of school fires and who is behind the arson attacks. Irene Mwangi, KUTV, Nairobi.